Hello everyone, my name is Jitender Bapna. I am a senior MuleSoft architect. In my last video, we have gone through how we can implement a size based aggregation in your MuleSoft application. In this tutorial, we will going to see the, the other way of you know achieving a aggregation that is time based aggregation. So how you can implement a time based aggregator in your mule flow. Okay. So we have already seen a definition of aggregator module. It's nothing. It's a component that receives some data, process it to extract some value, then adds that value to the list of aggregated element. After that, depending on the configuration, the list of element is sent to the setup component. So there is a three way of achieving uh, aggregation. One is size based, second is group based, third is time based. In last tutorial, we have all already gone through a size based aggregation. In this video, we will going to see a time based aggregation. Okay. So let me move into mule application. So by default, as I mentioned, the aggregator module is not part of your mule flow. So basically you can install from the any point exchange. Okay. So in last tutorial, we have seen this size based aggregator. Now we will see a time based aggregator. So I will drag and drop a time based aggregator component. So here you can have an incremental aggregation. So basically it aggregate the payloads, you know, so that get under payload, you know, aggregate under this particular thing. So in that case, what you can define, you can define some like uh, any any logic or you can add any component like logging or payloads or whatever you want. If you want to flow reference it to some other, you know, flow you can do that under this incremental aggregation but in this video we will just log it okay but we define this time based aggregator so what are the things we require for time based aggregator the first thing we require the name so i will say time aggregator so i will copy this i will see i don't want to like you know define any max size so any number of messages but i want you know so i want to define the time period so like once the like 10 second is over you aggregate the payload and send it to some you know uh, some other flow or you know some source or some destination so by default the period is in second so i will say 10 second okay you can define this period you can change this period and what you want to uh, aggregate i just want to aggregate the payload so now what i can do i will just define the logger and the logger i will just say payload but I want to define a HTTP listener I will just drag and drop the HTTP listener I will just configure it say ok I will say test now once the 10 second is over where the message needs to be sent so for that what you can define you can define a aggregator listener ok so what you can see aggregator listener copy and paste it here and make sure like this name you copy this name okay and paste it here aggregator name so once like uh, it aggregate like whatever message within the 10 second it will send it to this listener and we, what we have to do here is just have to log we will just log it you can do any operation whatever you have to perform but for now i will just log it okay i can say json instead of i can say payload and i just want to log it and I can say payload that's it S run the application save the application yes So my application has been successfully deployed right you can see the application has been successfully deployed so let me send few messages so i will just say send the send i will just send two messages i have sent the two messages as soon as 10 second will complete it okay it will log the messages so it will call that listener so you can see that so what happened here so i have sent the two request right within the 10 second so in what happened so like uh, i have set up the 10 seconds of the you know uh, aggregation time period 
okay so what happened whatever message get collected within the 10 seconds right will get aggregated and it will call this listener flow and it will transform to json and it will log it so that is what exactly happened right so now let me push some more messages at least five messages okay at least five messages So this time you should see all the five messages see right so within the 10 seconds you can get the five messages like you know it got the five you know five messages within the 10 second it aggregate everything so let me keep pushing the some data so what happens see so at least five six seven messages five six second messages see it aggregated in multiple way no so what happens so whatever message come within the 10 second it see now you can see that no uh, so got aggregated so like i think like uh, i we took more than 10 second to pass at least 10 or 12 messages and like you know depending on message like whatever message come within the 10 second that got aggregated and remaining messages got aggregated in other 10 seconds like that you know now other thing I just don't want to payload also like I just want to you know uh, aggregate the name in that particular payload right so I will just save it okay let's wait I am my application is getting deployed so let me send the request I will just send three request So as soon as like it complete 10 seconds so you can see the aggregated response okay now let me push some more request so see you can see the more and more data is aggregated so you, you you will see more data will come so, see yeah so so you got it right so that is how a time based aggregator work so we have already gone through two two ways of aggregation one is size based and one is time based in next video we will go we will see what is group based aggregation okay so if you like my video please like it and subscribe to my channel I hope you like this. Thanks for watching my video.